Hello. The purpose of this instruction is to demonstrate the search function and person profile page in the Clearinghouse Results website. If you don't yet have access to the Clearinghouse Results website, you must first register on the portal and receive access. Please see the Clearinghouse User Registration Guide for registration and login instructions at http colon forward slash forward slash aca dot myflorida dot com slash background screening. The search page allows you to review the eligibility status of an individual if they have undergone a screening or if they have a screening in process in the clearinghouse. If the individual is not found, a screening may be initiated from this page. If the individual is found, their profile page will appear. To search for an individual, you must first enter the individual's social security number and last name or date of birth. It is recommended that you only put either the last name or date of birth. Then select Search. If the individual has a screening in the Clearinghouse Results website, their profile page will appear. The individual's profile page provides information useful in making hiring decisions. This page contains the screening eligibility status and the Department of Health professional licensure status if applicable. Other features include the ability to edit demographic information, including the mailing address, connect to a screening that is already in process for the individual, receive email notifications when the screening is complete, add employment history, view public rap sheets for initiated screenings, view subsequent arrest and or registration files for employees. This page also provides an employment history for the individual as reported by any health care or service provider regulated by a specified agency in the clearinghouse. Let's first focus on the demographic section of the profile page. This section provides all demographic information needed to complete a screening by the FDLE and FBI. To edit the demographic information for an applicant, select the Edit button on the profile page below the photo. You may edit and update all of the information except for the following, the social security number, last name, and date of birth. Please note that the height and weight limits are set by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. If an applicant falls outside of the established limits, please select the closest match. Please contact your specified agency's background screening unit to update the social security number, last name, or date of birth. The next section on the Person Profile page is the Screening in Process section. A list of screening requests in process will be displayed on the Person Profile page. This section allows providers to initiate a new screening, connect to a screening, initiate an agency review, connect to an agency review, initiate a resubmission, connect to a resubmission. Connecting to a screening, agency review, or resubmission will allow providers to receive notifications and updates on an applicant's screening status without the need to request and pay for a new screening. The applicant's current clearinghouse status and retained print's expiration date are listed below the Screenings and Process section. The retained print's expiration date indicates when the individual would need to renew their clearinghouse screening. Fingerprints are retained for a period of five years by the FDLE. If the applicant does not have retained prints with FDLE, the status will read, Prints Not Retained. The Clearinghouse Screening Available status indicates the clearinghouse status of an applicant's screening. The status does not affect an applicant's eligibility determination. The status of Yes means the applicant has a screening in the clearinghouse that can be shared. The status of No means an applicant does not have a screening in the clearinghouse that can be shared. The status Awaiting Privacy Policy means the applicant has a screening with retained prints and a photograph but is missing the required privacy policy to be entered into the clearinghouse. To view an individual's results, please select View Privacy Policy to print a copy of the privacy policy for the applicant to sign. Then select Confirm Privacy Policy to submit the required information. The signed privacy policy must be stored in the employee's personnel file. The next part of the person profile page to pay attention to is the public rap sheet and arrest slash registration notification button. The public record version of a criminal history report 
or public rap sheet is available to the provider that initiated the screening on the Clearinghouse Results website. Please remember that it is now required per section 435.12 parens 2 parens c of the Florida statutes to initiate all screenings through the Clearinghouse Results website. Copies of subsequent arrest or registration notifications from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement are available to current employers of the applicant. The provider must have a current employment history record of the applicant entered on the employee roster in the Clearinghouse Results website to view this information. It is also a requirement under Section 435.12 parens 2 parens c that an employer of persons subject to a screening by a specified agency must maintain the employment status of all employees slash contractors within the Clearinghouse Results website. Initial employment slash contract status and any changes in status must be reported within 10 business days. To view the public rap sheet or the arrest notification, please select the corresponding buttons. The next and most important section of the Person Profile page is Eligibility, Determinations, and DOH Licensure. The current eligibility determination for employment and Department of Health licensure status for an applicant can be found in the Eligibility and Licensure sections of the Person Profile page. Each specified agency has different screening purposes and eligibilities. Definitions of eligibility determinations can be found by hovering over the question mark next to the specified agency name or selecting the Explanation of Results button at the bottom of the profile page. Please remember to only view the eligibility that applies to your reason for screening. The last section of the Person Profile page is the Employment slash Contract History and View Print version of results. All employment history records entered onto the Clearinghouse Results website for the applicant will display in the Employment slash Contract History section of the Person Profile page. All records, regardless of specified agency of the provider, will be displayed. The provider name will only display to users with access to the website on behalf of the provider. A printable version of the Person Profile page in Results can be accessed by selecting the View slash Print Version button below the Employment slash Contract History section. This will open a new window with a printable version of the information. This concludes our training on how to search in the Person Profile page on the Clearinghouse Results website. Please select the Contact Us link at the bottom of the web page for any questions. Thank you.